Watching online and around the globe, this is Second Union Baptist Church located at 2843 Haytonsville Fight Road, Goochland, Virginia 23063. Our mission is to promote spiritual growth, connection with community, and to promote a deeper connection with God. Our vision is teaching, reaching, and loving. Our 2023 theme is embracing greater. This is Second Union Baptist Church News. If you are in our sanctuary or watching online, we invite you to join us every Tuesday and Thursday on our prayer line at 6.45 a.m. The phone number is 267-807-9495, and the code is 114-319-289-POUND. Please start your day with us as we start our day talking to the Lord. We invite all of you to join us every Thursday night at 7 p.m. for Bible study. You can call us using the number 267-807-9495. The code is 114-319-289-POUND. 
please do join us as we grow in the Word of God. Second Union Baptist Church is now on Givelify. Tap, give, and done. A new way to give. As you see on the screen, a QR code is posted. Please do pause the live stream and scan that code so you can go right to the Givelify website. As you can see on the screen, we are verified. If you would not like to give through Givelify, you can mail it to P.O. Box 801, Goochland, Virginia, 23063. Or you can go to the Givelify app or straight to our church website. And of course, if you are in the sanctuary, we would love to take your gift in person during morning worship service. We do thank you for your gifts in advance and know that God will bless you richly. These are your announcements for today on next Sunday. Again, on next Sunday, our boys to men will be headed to bowling. We are excited about our bowling fellowship. We are asking that you please arrive at Bowl America Short Pump. Again, Bowl America in Short Pump. Amen. Boys to men, youth are free and adults, you are $22. You are please ask, bring your cash on next Sunday and yours truly will collect it. I am not here on today. But again, I will collect that on next Sunday. So please do make sure you have your money for entry. So again, please do join us next Sunday for our bowling fellowship. And all men who are attending, please do wear your boys to men shirt and or sweatshirt. In our community bulletin board on this coming Saturday, October 21st from 8 a.m. to noon, Second Union Rosenwald School Museum will be having their yard sale. They still do have some spots left if you would like to partake. Please do see Deaconess Katie Cox or call her at 804-937-0606. They are asking for a donation of $10, but they will not be providing tables. On next Sunday, Hope Christian Ministries will be celebrating their 20th pastoral anniversary of the prophet, Pastor Mark Vereen. Leadership worth following. They will have guest speaker, Archbishop Robert J. Rochford Sr. So please do go out and support them in their 20th anniversary and the church address is on the screen. Jerusalem Baptist Church will be celebrating their Family and Friends Day on the fourth Sunday of this month, October 22nd, during their 10 a.m. worship service. They will be having trunk or treat following service. They are asking that you please do support them and join them for a day of family, food, and fun. Ebenezer Baptist Church will be having their Harvest Festival 2023. That'll take place on the fifth Sunday of this month from 12 noon to 4 p.m. It is fun for the entire family and fellowship for all ages. So please do mark on your calendar for Sunday, October 29th, as you go out and support Ebenezer Baptist Church. Jerusalem Baptist Church will be headed to Washington, D.C. to watch the pros on Saturday, February 10th. They will be seeing the Wizards versus the 76ers at 7 p.m. They will be leaving the church at 3.30 p.m. The price is $100 per person, and the payment plan starts on November the 1st. They are asked for $25 November the 1st and December the 1st. And your final payment is due on January 1st of $50. The cost is non-refundable. They also will be stopping at Pentagon Mall for dinner before the game. If you would like to go, you can contact Howard Lebo at 804-337-5511. We do have two save the dates we want to make mention of. The Gospel Music Workshop of America Goochland Chapter will be presenting the Gathering Intercession Worship on Friday, November the 3rd at Jerusalem Baptist Church starting at 7 p.m. Speakers will include Reverend Dr. Emil Harris, Apostle Don Friday, Evangelist Janika Bailey, Pastor Karen Crowder, Reverend Dr. Tracy Daniels, Reverend Panther Whiting, and Powhatan's own Reverend Cavell Phillips. The theme is men ought to always pray. So please do mark this on your calendar for Friday, November the 3rd at 7 p.m. Elder Shavonda Dixon presents Singles on a Rise SOAR 2023 Summit. That'll happen at Graduate Richmond 301 West Franklin Street on December the 8th and the 9th. You can register by going to www.soarsummit.org. 
Some of the speakers do include Kimberly Richardson, James Pullings, Brittany Brooks, and Norris Johnson II. So please do go out and support Elder Shavonda Dixon Ministries for their SOAR 2023 conference. And last but certainly not least, the fifth church anniversary celebration of Unity Community Church in Powhatan will take place on Saturday, January 6, 2024 at 4 p.m. They will have special musical guests, Marette Clark Brown and Faithful Connection. The price is $75 for adults and $25 for children eight and under. This will take place at the Four Points by Sheraton in Midlothian, Virginia. If you do have any questions or would like to purchase tickets, you can contact 804-256-4411. We do have one thank you today, and that does come from Sister Elaine Watkins. She would like to thank the senior missionary for honoring her. It truly did touch her heart. And we do have one birthday on today. We want to say happy, happy birthday to Miss Danica Fowler. We know that God will bless you with many, many more. Other than that, you are all caught up on this third Sunday, October 15th, 2023. Be blessed. And we do want to remind you that the entire month of October is Pastor Appreciation Month. So we do want to say thank you to our shepherd and make sure you go and greet him and thank him personally for his numerous years of service at this branch of Zion. And now we'll turn our service over to our worship leader for today. Good morning, everyone. And happy Sunday. I'll be reading from um, Ephesians 6, verse um, 10 through 18. Will we all stand, please? Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole arm of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all of the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all power and supplication in the Spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Thank you. At this time, I'll turn it over to our choir. Come on and bless, come on and bless. Come on and clap. 
clap your hands. Come on and clap, come on and clap. Come on and clap your hands. Come on and clap your hands. Come on and lift my voice and say hallelujah. Come on and dance, come on and dance before the Lord. Come on and dance before the Lord. Come on and dance before. 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 Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Go and sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, can you give the Lord a praise this morning? No matter what it looks like, no matter what it feels like, no matter what's going on, come on, can you give him a praise? Amen. What a mighty God we serve. At this time, would you please join me in reading our daily confession of 2023? On this day, I declare that the God of the universe, the divine parent of my Savior and Lord Jesus Christ, shall provide, promote, protect, and prosper me in all I love. I declare that all things shall be well today, and that the sovereign God has gone before me to prepare the earth for me, so I shall rest, living in the peace of God, according to Philippians 4, 6 through 8. I declare that no issues from my past shall distract, disrupt, or delay me from the appointed season of favor that is assigned to me today and beyond. I declare that 2023 will be my most productive year and everything assigned to me according to Jeremiah 29 and 11 shall be accomplished this year. I declare that my family and friends shall be guarded and that no one assigned to my life shall be harmed or hurt from the snares of this world. Finally, I declare that according to I shall in 2023 flourish for this is my season of favor, acceleration, and never again. In Jesus' name, I confess this. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. At this time, one of our deacons will lead us in prayer. Let us go to God in the word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we come right now as humble as we know how, God, just to say thank you, Lord. We thank you this morning, dear God, that you allowed us to rise to see the dawning of a new day, dear God. We're thankful, dear God, that our last night lying down was not sleep of death, dear God, but you gave us another opportunity, dear God, to stand here on your green earth, dear God, and for that we got to say thank you, Lord. Oh God, we thank you this morning, dear God, for 
be on our all in all, dear God, for providing for us, for just taking care of us down through another week, dear God. We thank you, dear God, that we're now allowed to be in the service one more time, dear God. And we should be glad to be here today, dear God, because this is our filling station, and dear God. If there's ever a time that we need you, dear God, we need you right now, Lord. As you look around this world, dear God, so much is going on, dear God. We, we pray so hard for those over in Israel and who are going through wars right now, dear God. People are being displaced this evening, dear God. People are without food, dear God. Some people are down right now, dear God. Oh, God, we need you right now, dear God. Oh, God, somebody, dear God, didn't hear a good word from the doctor this week, dear God. And we realize, dear God, you're still in control, dear God. And we realize, Father, people are struggling right now, dear God. Bereavement is all around us, dear God. And, oh, God, we just know that we need you, dear God. And we're so glad, dear God, we can look on your word where you said that you will never leave us. You will never forsake us, dear God. You said, dear God, you supply all our needs, dear God. And, oh, God, even though going through, dear God, but I just believe if we stop complaining and we start praising, dear God, that things going to change, dear God. Oh God, we speak change today, dear God. We, we're not going to worry about that report, dear God. We're going to not worry about the issues of life, dear God, but we're going to look upon the hills we're coming by help, knowing that all our help comes from the Lord, dear God. So we come this morning, dear God, just to give you the praise, dear God, because you are so awesome this morning, dear God. You're so worthy this morning, dear God. Oh, God, we just invite you in right now, dear God. We ask that you have your way in this service this morning, dear God. Blessed in a mighty way, dear God. We pray for each and every individual who come out today who may have some concern and some needs, dear God. We just ask that you meet them right now, dear God. Bless those that are watching and those that are listening today, dear God. And, oh, God, don't forget our pastor this morning, dear God. We thank you so much for him, dear God. Let him know that he's appreciated here, dear God. Let him know, dear God, we are standing right behind him, dear God. We ask now, God, that you'll use him in a mighty way, dear God, as he's come Sunday after Sunday preaching to us, dear God. We just ask that you give him power one more time, dear God. Continue to bless the choir, dear God. We lift up now church families everywhere, dear God. Bless all who are sick and suffering, dear God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
Let's give an honor to the Lord, Savior Jesus Christ. It's good to be here this morning, Father. Pastor Peter, Associate Minister, and all. Good to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Yes. Yes. I've been standing here for the prayer this morning, and I want everybody to come and do what they have to do. We got the Lord have blessed you with all the week. Yes. Yes. In Jesus' name.
just wanna praise you. Just wanna praise you forever, forever, and ever, and ever, for all, for all you've done for me. Blessings and glory, and I'm. Thank you, Jesus, Jesus, for blessing. Just wanna praise you forever and ever and ever. Thank you, Jesus, for blessing. Let's say it one more time. I just want to praise you. Just want to praise you forever and ever and ever. Jesus I just wanna thank you just wanna thank you forever and ever and ever oh you done what you done for me blessings and glory For me, blessings and glory, and honor, they all blessings and glory, blessings and glory, and honor, they all blessings and glory.
grave as our God. Sing with me, high grave as our God. Oh, see, high grave, high grave as our God. High grave as our God. Sing with me, high grave is our God. Oh, sing high grave, high grave is our God. Sing with me, high grave, high grave. Sing with me, sing with me, high. Oh, sing.
you're holy. You're mighty. And you're worthy. Somebody say, you're awesome. You're holy. You're mighty. You're worthy. Your name is above all names. You're worthy of all I pray. Mighty are the works of your hand. Mighty are the works of your hand. Your name is above all names. You're worthy of all I pray. How great is our God? Sing with me, how great is our God? Oh, we sing how great, how great is our God? Sing, oh, how great, how great. Sing with me, with every hand lifted. Sing, oh, we sing. Come and lift your hands and say, How great. If you know he's the name above all names, say, You're the name above. You're the name. You are worthy of. Come on, lift your voice and say, In our hearts. How great. Sing, you're the name above all names. You are worthy of. And our hearts will sing. How great. Come on, come on. This is your moment right here. Come on. Come on, can you give him praise? Can you just worship him right where you are? Come on, can you say hallelujah? Come on, is he worthy today? Is he worthy today? Come on, can you just say thank you, Lord? Thank you, Lord. 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 Come on, can you shout hallelujah? Is he worthy today? I mean, is he really worthy today? When you look back over your life, is he worthy? When you look at what he's done, is he worthy? When you look at what he's doing right now, is he worthy? Is he worthy? Is he worthy? Come on, give him a praise in this house. Say, you're the name of You're the name of With every hand lift to say, you are worthy of We'll sing, yeah. How great. Say one more time like you mean it. You're the name of love. You are worthy of And In our hearts we'll sing. Come on, put your hands together. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, don't be lazy with your praise this morning. Look, somebody needs you to praise God. They may be in a place where they need somebody else to stand in the gap for them and give God glory and give God praise on their behalf. We bless your name, Lord. We bless your name, Lord. You're worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. How many know he's worthy today? He's worthy. He's worthy to be praised. What would we do if it were not for the Lord on our side? Where would we be if it had not been for God on our side? 
first give an honor to God, to Lady Nicole in her absence, to Sister Gloria, to all of our ministers, your family, and to the choir musicians, deacons, deaconess, trustees, to our ushers, and to all of the saints of God assembled in this place today. We greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It is good once again to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. 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 God has blessed us through another week's He has blessed us through another week's journey. In spite of what you've been through, in spite of what you've seen, God is still a great God. He is greatly to be praised. Amen. Amen. We thank God for all of you who are here today, those who are watching and listening this morning. We thank God for your sacrifice to just be with us and to join us in fellowship with us on this another Lord's Day. Um, we were um, very um, excited. We were blessed to get away the beginning of the week and we're in Lynchburg for a little while and it was a blessed occasion, a blessed time. It was inspiring. It was rejuvenating. It was needed. Amen. 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 So we thank God for that and those of you who uh, made that happen and um, to the entire church um, family, we thank you so very much. We ask for your prayers this morning. Um, it has been a trying weekend. Um, yesterday morning, me and Lady Nicole, we got a call probably about 3 a.m. in the morning. Um, person on the other line can share some things that had unfolded and Lady Nicole's her brother had been shot and killed and they were very close very close and a great tragedy and when anyone by you anyone in your circle is going through pain believe me you feel that pain too. You feel that hurt as well. And so she's not here this morning. And we certainly solicit your prayers. Um, we certainly ask that you would not only pray for her, but that you would pray also for the entire family. Um, in their time of loss, we ask that you would sincerely go to God. Not only for her, but there are other members, there are other individuals who have loved ones that are going through certain things. Illness and sickness and other trying times that they may not even mention to you. Everyone is dealing with so much. If you're not dealing with something, believe me, if you live long enough, Amen. sooner or later, challenge will meet you, circumstance will present itself. Some of you may have even been in the same situations yourself. And I tell you that God did not bring you through that situation to keep it to yourself. But he brought you through that you can reach back and encourage someone else and minister to someone else that's going through a similar situation in their life. Don't keep that testimony. Share it and bless somebody else. Share it and encourage someone else. There's a word from the Lord. So you can imagine what sleep has looked like over the last couple of days. And so just for a few moments, Isaiah 41 and 10. 
Isaiah 41 and 10. There in Isaiah 41 and 10, we find these words from the prophet. He says, so do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Heavenly Father, we say thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for your presence in our life. We thank you for your Holy Spirit. We thank you, God, for looking beyond our faults continuously supplying our each and every need. Forgive us for our sins. We repent for all of our wrongdoings, our wrong thoughts, our wrong actions, our wrong responses, our disobedience. Father God, we have realized that we can do nothing without you. That's why we're so grateful that you're in our life. Now God, hide us behind your cross. Strengthen us on every leaning side. Speak a word to your people, dear God, through this, your humble servant. Have your own way. We humble ourselves before you. Declaring not my will but thou will be done. Not my words but yours. Not in my strength but in your power. Thank you God for every person in this place. Those who are watching dear God. Those who are listening. We pray a special prayer for Lady Nicole this morning. For her family this morning. Pray for peace, Lord. We pray for strength. We pray for comfort now in the name of Jesus. Lord, when we have completed this task again, we will not fail to give you all of the glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. For a few moments this morning, the Lord and I would like to use as a subject or topic how to deal with a crisis. How to deal with a crisis. Needless to say that as we look at the world and especially as we look to Israel we see the tragedy tragic events lives being lost attacks so imminent upon their community and upon their lives and not only that, but even as we look in our local communities, we see crises unfolding day after day. But many of us, we don't have to look to Israel and we don't even have to look in our communities. Some of us, be it not told, we are dealing with emergencies, emergencies, and frustrations, and challenges in our very own lives. Some things that we don't even share. Some things that we would rather keep it to ourselves. Other things that we want to tell, but we have trouble finding someone that would instead of talking about us and what we're going through and what we're dealing with, instead of sincerely praying for us and going to God on our behalf, we have decided to keep it to ourselves. 
have to realize that sooner or later in your life, sooner or later, all of us deal with some type of crisis. Sooner or later, all of us deal with some type of emergency, some type of issue and some type of circumstance where we don't have all the answers to the situation that is unfolding before our very eyes. We see in the text here that Isaiah declares here that even though uh, the enemy and, and attacks may be imminent and may be headed in your direction, he gets a word from the Lord that even though tragedy is coming your way and even though you are under the pressure and the burden and the frustration, we don't want you to fear what's about to happen or what you are experiencing right now in your life. And I'm glad that we serve a God that is able to send me a word even in the midst of my crisis. Even before the crisis arrive, God has a way of sending you a word and sending you encouragement and sending you strength even before it arrives. He said, look, be not fearful of what is about to approach he says he says he says not only not only he says do not fear but he does not want them to be dismayed because he says i am with you how many realize that dealing with a crisis and dealing with frustrations and dealing with emergency situations in our life, it can be a challenging and overwhelming experience. However, it is important to understand and to remember that calamities and crises and emergencies can also, watch this, be an opportunity for growth and for transformation some of us if the truth can be told today you didn't get transformed or you didn't grow to another level watch this uh, until you went through uh, some tragedies until you went through some painful uh, painful experiences uh, in your life that's when you grew up in the Lord and your character begin to develop as well and transformation begin to take place in your life because crises they have a potential to reshape our lives watch this and redefine our priorities you ever been through something and you finally realize what's really important in life. What's really worth it in life. In the midst of turmoil, it is essential to seek meaning and purpose beyond the immediate circumstance. That's why Jeremiah 29 and 11 assures us that God has plans for our welfare and not for evil plans to give us a future and a hope. And by aligning ourselves with God's purpose for our lives, we can find renewed hope and direction even in the darkest of time. How do I deal with, watch this, what I can't handle? Wow. How do I deal with what I can't handle? several things understand first of all understand that his voice is necessary in your crisis whose voice God's voice is necessary in your crisis if you are not able to hear anyone else you have to be able to position yourself in a posture and in a place where you can hear God speaking into your life when was the last time you just sat and you listened for the voice of the almighty God 
Don't let that thing God bless you with pull you away from spending time with God. I was in Lynchburg the other day and on Tuesday we it was the last day and, and I had to drive to the venue where we were meeting at and, and I set the GPS but one of the other brothers were pulling out and I said, oh, I'll keep up behind him. I, I'll follow him. I'm not used to Lynchburg. I'm not used to going through the small streets in Lynchburg. So I said, I try to keep up with him. And the more I try to keep up, keep up with him, I couldn't keep up with him. And he was in and out of the streets. And he was turning this way and turning in that direction until finally, I said, you know what? Forget it. I'm going to listen to yeah, I'm going to listen to the GPS and I have faith that the GPS will get me to where I need to go. Some of us uh, are in a season uh, where you need to stop looking for folk to lead you uh, to where you need to be. Uh, and some of us uh, have gotten into a place uh, that we can't even operate and function and follow God unless we see something in front of us. Uh, but is there anybody here that can follow God just by his voice I don't need to see anything I don't need no folk leading me I don't need anything all I need to do in the season that I'm in is listen to his voice what happens what happens what happens when all you can do watch this is hear the guide but you can't see the guide second thing I want you to understand is that that worship is vital worship is vital anytime you go through a crisis anytime you go through anything that emergency that frustration you know things will be a whole lot better to deal with if we would start out with worship if we would start out with praise every day Start out with worshiping God. Start out with praising God. Start out with telling him how grateful he is and thanking him for who he is. Get so caught up in the moment of your worship with God and you giving God gratitude for who he is until it diminishes your thoughts about what you're going through and about what you're dealing with. Stop sitting there and dwelling on your trouble in your situation in your circumstances and try praising God try praising God try thanking God how many realize that you don't need a whole lot of folk you don't need nobody to start giving God praise and get caught up in worship and get caught up in the presence of God I don't need a whole lot of folk I don't need anybody at all just me and God I want you to get to a place where you learn to worship because children there are going to be times and circumstances that are approaching and coming to your life that if you don't know how to worship him and you don't know how to get in his presence all by yourself you're going to have a hard time dealing with it and struggling through it but if you can just learn to praise him if you can just learn to worship him if you can learn to lift your hands and say thank you God until you get in the presence of God that's my prayers that you learn how meaningful and how imperative it is to worship God how imperative it is to give God praise regardless of what you're going through Regardless of what you're dealing with, learn to push your way in praise. Learn to push your way through in worship. Learn to push your way through in giving God gratitude for who he is. What he's doing and what you want him to do in your life.
we can learn how to worship him. Learn how to worship him. Some of us will never learn until we get to that place where the crisis hit. That's why I want you to learn how to do it before the crisis arise. That's why some folk look at you crazy when you talk about it. And even when you do it and even when you're in worship, they look at you like you're crazy. They look at you like what you're doing. But baby, you got to understand that if you ain't been through nothing in your life, Lord, have mercy. And I don't want God to have to take me through a, a crisis. Watch this. Just to learn how to worship him. Worshiping God is difficult, and difficult times can be a powerful way to find solace and strength. Praising God can help you focus on his love and focus on his power, which in turn provides comfort for us and hope in the midst of what we're going through and dealing with. Worshiping God is one of our greatest gifts to him and the one and one of your greatest weapons. Watch this against your enemy. That's why it's important to keep faith in God's promises and might might sing to him. We might. Lift our hands to him, give him worship, give him praise, acknowledging who he is. Even, watch this, watch this. Even when your heart is heavy. Even when your heart is heavy. Watch this. Even when you think folk don't like you and folk going to look at you and folk going to talk about you. You got to learn to give them glory and give them worship for who he is. You had to thirdly understand that God is able to supply what, what you can't provide for yourself. God is able to provide what you can't provide for yourself. He says, look, fear not. Fear not. I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what you're dealing with. I don't know the challenge that you're up against, but I know there are some challenges in the house. You may not have told me, you may not have shared it with anyone else, but I know that some, there are some challenges in the house, and there are some deep challenges for some in the house. There are some hard challenges. For some of us that sat in this place, some challenges we don't want anyone else to know about. There's some challenges that causes us to toss and turn and toss and turn. There are challenges that Hurt so deep. You ever felt the hurt that it felt like you were grieving on the inside? A hurt that you can't, I can't eat right now. A hurt that I don't want to deal with anyone right now. hurt that all you can do is ask God for his mercy over your life. Realize that God says, first of all, fear not. All of us have to understand that being a child of God does not eliminate us from challenges and crises in our life. Being a child of God does not give us immunity from problems and from situations and from things that we would rather not deal with in our life. If you think about it, even the disciples as they walked with Jesus, they still had to face some challenges in their ministry. And even at walking with Jesus, 
You all remember they were on a ship and they are sinking and a storm is going on. The winds are blowing and the ship is rocking. Even though being close to Jesus, they still had to go through some things in their life. You ever think sometime, rephrase that, he shows us where our faith is, how much faith we have in him, in situations that we deal with, and that he allows to come. They're on a ship and the wind is blowing. He could have stopped the wind. He could have stopped it. He could have prevented it from even approaching but he didn't. But I'm sure that after the experiences was over, that they developed something. Watch this, that they did not have at first. There are some witnesses that I developed something after my storm, through my storm, that I didn't have at first. That if I didn't never go through the storm, if I had never went through the trial or the frustration or the tribulation, I would have never developed my faith in God the way I have. He says, don't fear. He said, don't fear. He says, for I am with you. The consciousness of God, of God's presence is the great dispeller of fear, having the consciousness that God is with me as I go through what I go through. Let that sink in, having the consciousness that I'm not going through this alone, that God is with me. Become like a child. And I'm sure that we can imagine times in our life when we walked with our child and we may have been nervous and danger was around, but that child held your hand and that child did not worry about anything because the child knew that I'm with daddy and daddy is going to take care of me. The child knew that I'm with mama and mama ain't going to let nothing happen to me. You have to be like a child in your faith and and in your walk with God, recognize and have the consciousness uh, that God is all the ways with me. He's with me no matter what I go through, no matter what I deal with. And sometimes we lose consciousness of that fact. But I want you to grab it back today. The consciousness that God is with me through what I'm dealing with and what I'm going through. He says, be not dismayed. Don't be intimidated about what you see. Don't be intimidated. Don't be shook about what's approaching you. Because sometimes we face situations that are confusing and we face situations that we just can't figure out. Some of you are facing things right now and you've been trying to rack your brain, trying to figure out why, trying to figure out how, trying to even figure out, God, why didn't you just stop this in the beginning? But how many realize that his thoughts and his ways are higher than yours? How many understand that he's an all-knowing God? How many understand he's omniscient and he's omnipresent and he's omnipotent? And that God sees way, way down the road. We may go through challenges and 
frustrations and things in our life may lose some stuff. May lose some people. And it may be hard dealing with it. But he says, I don't want you to be dismayed. I don't want you to be intimidated about what you're going through. If you can remember that I'm with you. If you can remember that I never will leave you, I never will forsake you. If you can think back over your life and the challenges that you've already come through. Do you remember how broken you were? Do you remember how painful it was? Do you remember how trying it was? But watch this. Do you remember how God gave you strength to get through it? Do you remember how you are able now to reach back and tell somebody else, baby, it's hard right now, but we serve a God. Matter of fact, I am a living testimony and witness that God will give you strength, that God will pick you up, that God will give you comfort, that God will give you peace uh, that surpasses all uh, understanding uh, that God will lift you up uh, and place you on uh, a higher level uh, within him uh, that God won't leave you he won't leave you there where you are that God will come to your rescue God will come to your rescue God will supply what you need because you have to realize have to realize he said be not, not dismayed I am thy God and see this is the thing that get us I'm almost done y'all this is the thing that gets us he doesn't always explain the solution <laughs> He doesn't always explain the solution to the problem. But like the GPS, he said, just listen to my voice. Just trust me. You ever tell somebody that somebody else was worried about one thing or another? And you said, look, just trust me. I got it. I got it. It's going to be all right. God said, I'm not going to show you the solution, but I'm going to tell you the solution. You know what the solution is, right? Is to trust me. That is your solution today. Trust God. Whatever you face today, whatever your challenge may be today, whatever it is that is encountering your life, the solution is trust God. Because how many realize God can get you what you need, how you need it? when you need it, where you need it. I'm almost done. He said, don't, don't, don't be dismayed. He said, I'm going to strengthen you. That's what he says. He says, I'm going to give you strength, even though it's hard. Even though the wind has literally been knocked out of you. Before I got up to preach, I was just like, I don't feel it. I, I, my, my strength, I feel like it has been depleted. But God has a way of giving you strength as you go through, as you deal with it. And later on, you'll look back and say, wow, how in the world did I get through? Through that, how in the world did I? And you know the answer. Nobody but God got me through. If God is for us, and he is, he's more than the whole world against us. If God be for us, who can be against us? Sometimes we feel so weak and so helpless. But God is speaking today and said, I will help you. Some folk will say, a whole lot of stuff. I'm going to help you and I'm going to be there for you. 
But when God said, I'm going to help you, how many know you can take it to the bank? You don't have to wonder about it the next day. You don't have to call God back and remind you, God, you know you said you will help me. I ain't see you come through here yet. You may have to do that with some folk. You, you may be at your window many days looking and saying, I ain't seen them pull up yet. But how many realize that I don't have to call God back? That when God says, I will help you, then God will provide the necessary strength and help that you need in your life to get you through your situation. He says, I'm with you. Don't be dismayed. He says, fear not. He says, with the right hand of my righteousness, Heavens are the work of his fingers, and he measures them with his span. What an awesome God we have on our side. What an awesome God we have that lives within us. He puts his hands under us, and he holds us, and he carries us. He makes sure that we have what we need because he is all sufficient. And when your strength is inadequate, God's strength never runs out. His substances, his sustenance never is depleted. His power is limitless. When you've reached the end of your solution and the end of your what you feel is sufficient, what you thought you needed, when it's inadequate, then God, God says, I'm here. I've always been able to do it, but you wanted to try to do it first. I've always been able to handle it, but you wanted to try to handle it first. Because I've learned that either God will get you to what you need, or he will get what you need to you. God will get you what you need, or he will get you what you need to you and he's faithful and he's never failed and I believe he never will fail he won't let you down today he showed and proven that time and time again that he is our firm foundation and that he is able come on stand to your feet I'm done You may be here today and you don't know the Lord as your personal Savior. You never accepted Christ. Never been baptized. You've never given your life to the Lord. You don't know him as your personal Savior. You have never repented of your, your sins your wrongdoings. If you've never accepted him, if you've never repented of your wrongdoings, of your sins, this is your time. This is your moment. Why don't you come? Man, woman, boy, or girl. You may be here today and you've been out of the church and away you have distanced yourself from God and the fellowship has been broken and you just want to come back and want to reunite that, reconnect that fellowship with God and 
even reconnect with the church, this is your opportunity to come. Is there one? You may be here today, you looking for a new church home and you believe God is leading you to this place. We welcome you. Is there one? Is there one? You may just want prayer today. The altar is open for you. Is there one? Is there one? We come believing that God is able to do anything but fail. We come believing in the miraculous. We come believing that God is a God who is able to do the impossible in our lives. We come believing that there's nothing too hard, nothing too complicated for him to deliver us from. Nothing too hard for God. I need you to believe that, that there's nothing too hard for God. That there's nothing too hard for God. Knowing that he is able. going to pray this morning for you and wherever you are whatever you're asking God for whatever challenge you may be facing in your life whatever that child is putting you through whatever that situation that home is putting you through whatever the doctors have declared whatever circumstance that may be on your job Whatever healing that you may need in your body, we come praying. Brother Price called me last night and he wanted special prayer for himself today as well. I want to pray for everyone first and then I want to pray for him. But as I pray for him, I want some of the others who know the power of prayer to surround me as I pray for him. I, I don't want you there if you don't believe in miracles. I don't want you there if you don't believe in the power of God. I don't want you there if you have never seen God work things out in your life and deliver you from some situations and circumstances. Heavenly Father, we come now saying thank you, God. We thank you, Lord, that you are able. Father God, we thank you God because not only are you able but you're willing father God we come this morning dear Lord lifting up your most holy and righteous name we come declaring that you are God and you are God all by yourself we come declaring dear God that you are creator of heaven and earth making man from the dust dear Lord breathing into his nostrils the breath of life causing man to become a living soul powerful enough to create woman from man dear god we thank you right now that we're connected to you we thank you right now father god that your holy spirit lives on the inside of us we thank you right now, God, for your guidance and for your direction, dear God, in the name of Jesus. We come thank you, thanking you right now, Father God, that whatever issue and situations and challenges that we face, be it at home, be it our child or our spouse, dear God, or our job, dear God, we believe that you are greater, dear Lord, more powerful than anything and everything that we are up against in our life, dear God. We declare victory right now in the name of Jesus. We declare victory right now in the name of Jesus. 
Dear God, we declare that no weapon formed against us shall be able to prosper right now in the name of Jesus, dear Lord. We declare that what the doctors said and what they did, uh, prescribed, dear Lord, or what uh, uh, they, they said that we had, Father God, right now in the name of Jesus, we plead the precious blood of Jesus Christ and we speak healing right now in the name of Jesus, dear Lord. Right now in the name of Jesus, touch now, Lord God. Touch now, Lord God. Touch now, Lord God. Hey, Shadow Usha. Touch now, Lord God. Touch now, Lord God. From the crown of his head. From the crown of her head. Touch now in the name of Jesus. Touch the body right now in the name of Jesus. Touch now in the name of Jesus. Send your power now in the name of Jesus. Your spirit now, Lord God, roll through, move through even blood vessels right now in the name of Jesus, dear Lord. Touch every organ right now in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Touch now, Lord. As your healing moves now, Lord. As your healing moves from shoulders, dear God, to arms, chest, and back area now in the name of Jesus, Lord. As your healing move down, dear God, down our legs, dear God. To our feet, dear God. As healing moves, we thank you, dear Lord. As healing moves, dear God, we thank you, dear Lord. As healing moves, we give you praise right now, dear God. As healing moves, we give you praise right now, Lord. As healing moves, we give you praise right now, Lord. As deliverance takes place, we give you praise now. In the name of Jesus, Lord. As you touch now, Lord, as you encourage, this, encourage somebody's heart now, Lord, somebody that's dealing with depression, God, as you give encouragement right now in the name of Jesus, as you comfort right now in the name of Jesus, Even if you touch those finances right now in the name of Jesus, you give increase. We thank you now, God. We thank you that the bills are paid, Father God, in the name of Jesus, dear Lord. We thank you, dear God. Even money is coming from different ways unexpectedly. Now, right now, in the name of Jesus, there's somebody that is in need right now, dear God. God says, don't worry about it. Trust me. Trust my voice. I'm going to get you through it, but you got to trust my voice. Not about what you see, but it's about what you hear in this season. It's not about what you see, it's about what you hear. Trust me, trust me, trust me. Come on, we're praising God. 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 Come on, y'all can do better than that. We're giving God glory for who He is. We're giving God glory for who He is. Come on, can you praise Him for what you want Him to do in your life? Can Can you praise Him more for what you want Him to do in your life? Come on, I need. I just need some folk who who believe in the power of prayer. I just need some folk who believe God is able to do the impossible uh, to come right now and surround us in the name of Jesus. Some folk that have seen some things. Come on, praise him. Come on, change the song. Come on, change the song. Come on. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, God. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. In 
the name of Jesus, we come now, Lord, thanking you for your child. Father God, you know his issues, you know his ailment right now in the name of Jesus. Right now in the name of Jesus, touch now, Father God, from the crown of his head, dear God, to the sole of his feet, right now in the name of Jesus, dear Lord. Right now in the name of Jesus, dear God, we pray now, dear Lord, that you would touch his ears, Father God, that you would stop the ringing in his ears right now in the name of Jesus, dear Lord, that you would move the ringing right now in the name of Jesus, dear Lord, that you would bless right now, dear God, bring deliverance right now, touch right now in the name of Jesus, dear Lord, move through the ear canal right now in the name of Jesus, let your spirit right now flow right now in the name of Jesus, let your spirit right now flow in the name of Jesus let your spirit flow right now in the name of Jesus we thank you Lord we now praise you for what you've done we now praise you for healing we thank you right now in the name of Jesus dear Lord thank you for healing Lord thank you for deliverance Lord in the name of Jesus Lord we thank you God we thank you God we thank you God come on we give God glory we give God praise right now in the name of Jesus thank you God 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 Thank you, God. 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 Thank you for healing, God. Thank you, God. Thank you for power, God. Thank you for deliverance, God. In Jesus' name. God, we come right now on behalf of our pastor, dear God. We come, oh God, just for strength for him right now, oh God. Pray, oh God, that you touch him, dear God, prop him up on every leaning side. Oh God, he needs you right now, Lord God. His family needs you, dear God. Bless his wife right now, Lord God. Comfort them, dear God, in the midst of their needs right now. Oh God, I know you're able this morning, dear God. I know you're able to do everything but fail, dear God. And we trust you on today, dear God, because you're so worthy, dear God. We give you a praise. We give you honor. We give you glory this morning, dear God. Oh God, you're so awesome, dear God. Oh God, we just thank you for what is taking place in this place today, dear God. We thank you, dear God, just to be here today, dear God. Oh God, we love you on today, God. And oh God, we're leaving today better than we came, dear God. We give you glory today, dear God. Oh God, we're leaving this day with heads held high today, dear God. God. Oh God, all those some tears have come down our eyes, but you're going to dry them up today, dear God. But we know that we've been made to come through the night, but joy shall come in the morning, dear God. Oh God, we bless you now, dear God. Touch those who are in need right now, Lord God. Somebody may not want to talk about their situation, but God, you know all about it this morning, dear God. And we give you praise for them, dear God. Bless Second Union, dear God. Bless our members in a mighty way, dear God. Pray, oh, Heavenly Father, we will stay connected to you, dear God, knowing that everything going to be all right. And, oh, God, we praise you today, dear God. Our soul shout hallelujah to you today, dear God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.